So it is now nighttime, and you can see mom right there. She's come out to help. We are trying to get carrots and radishes planted. the ground we can also get peas in the ground lettuces and things like that but tonight we're just aiming for a row of carrots and a row of radishes one on each side you can see right there I planted cherry bell right there we're gonna do I think what we're... did you were you gonna show you have it you had it folded down so you weren't So the organic cherry bell. I don't know if, hold on. If you can read it, it's an old packet. Yeah, so it's kind of wrinkly. What's the year on it? 2021. It's not super old. Yeah, hopefully they'll come up. We did okay with radishes last year, and then we did a second planting, and, like, they all started to come up and died. And I wasn't really great about paying attention to what was what, so I don't know if it was the same ones or not. <coughs> did something eat the tops of them, too? I think a deer was coming in. Well, no, we had a huge bug problem last year. Um, But so she's going to do half of one side and then half the other side. What are you planting the other half? Oh, I forgot. And I did them all cherry bells. Oh, <laughs> never mind. She planted all cherry bells. So cherry the, bells are really good. Though. So the carrot side, we will do half one, half the other. Now, this is a pretty tall raised bed. Hold on. And you carrot cut cover them with oh. a half inch of loose soil. So I just measured this bed is only 11 inches tall. Now we have really rocky clay soil underneath. I do have some carrots that can get about nine inches in length. I want to plant something. What did I just say? Seven inches? You said nine inches. Th this was nine inches? No, I said this was seven inches. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, so I want to plant carrots that will grow well in the raised bed and not try and dig down into the dirt. Now we have some raised beds. We will show that on a future video. The um, Davids, my husband and dad, are working on milling those logs. We will also show that in a video. Um, and the sh shortest part of some of those logs is 16 inches. So like the, I believe it's... Is the gar oh, the garbage men are here. I believe it's the Danvers carrots that we have that we're going to try and grow this year. We will put those in one of those raised beds um, because those are the ones that I think get about nine inches long. And so we want that really long space to plant. So here we go. And we're also going to try, sorry, we're also going to try something new this year with our carrots. We see everybody cover them. I had really bad germination last year at one point. I had good germination, again, good germination one part, bad germination the second time. Um, so this year I cut down here behind me right here. We have this piece of plywood. I just cut it to length, and we're going to lay it over the carrots. We're going to water really well and lay it over the carrots. And I guess that's what you're supposed to do to get really good germination on your carrots. Now the key is as soon as the carrots start to germinate and you see them pop up, you want to remove that board. Um, and we're supposed to get storms. I think in two days we're supposed to have severe thunderstorms. So a lot of times when it says it's gonna rain, it doesn't or it's not quite as bad or it's 10 times worse than they say it is. Um, so we'll have to see. But hopefully they don't all wash away, especially with that board being there. And then we have the woven weave fabric. So hopefully the, the bed won't drown and we lose all of our carrots and they kind of go all over the place. Um, as soon as I start to plant it, I will be back and show you what two varieties we're going to do. Okay, we're out here in the dark finishing up our planting. Um, 
And if you see me squinting, it's because there's a flash on the camera. Uh, we planted short and sweet carrots. We planted two different seed packets. Um, we planted the rest of our 2021 in a quarter of the side here. And then we planted our new ones, which were 2024, in the other quarter. And then on the other half, we planted these little finger carrots. I'm um, coming in close. The, huh? These are from Baker Creek. They're called Little Finger. They grow to three, about three inches. And it said they're good. What's it say they're good for on the back again? Canning. Uh, I don't know. I'm blind. Uh, develop uh, a superb deep orange baby type carrots. Sweet three inch carrots are great for snacking, canning, and pickling. So those will be interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then the short and sweet are grow to four inches. Sweet flavored four inch. I'm seeing spots. So four inch roots are bright orange. Um, and these are. I can't read what that word's for heavy or shallow soils says something else in front of that, but that's short and sweet. We've grown these before. These are organic. These should be heirloom because most of the seeds that they sell there are heirloom. And the short and sweet are like a standard one you can get anywhere. The yeah. little finger we just okay. happened to see when we were at one of their festivals and they sounded interesting to me, so I grabbed the packet. Yeah. yeah. And then also I put on here, you can see, I hope I'm doing this right, we watered it well, and then I just put a board over it what are you doing, Shiva? She's carrying off part of our it's raised the bed. That came off the top of the bed here. Yeah. Um, and I just put a piece of board over it. And as I understand it, you just put it over there. You watch for it. And as soon as they germinate, you take the board off. Um, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms in a couple days. Hopefully the bed doesn't wash out and we lose everything. So do you check it daily? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I suppose I wouldn't have and to check for a couple now. days, but yeah, about it. So the germination on at least the little fingers it says on here is 12 to 18 days. I feel like last year it took a long time for our short and sweets to, I think they were short and sweets to come up. A long time. Yeah, and I thought it was like at least 21 days, so we probably won't give up on them after 18 days. Yeah. But um, So I may not check them until after yeah. the storm. I might just leave it. We watered the dirt really well. I mean, maybe we'll take a peek under there. Yeah, maybe but, in a week or so. But the storm's in two days. We might just leave it and then check after. But we so. just want to make sure that they don't dry out. Yeah. So I'll be in the plant shack tonight. Plant shack tonight. <laughs> Sorry, the cold is getting to me. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so I'll be in the plant shack tonight, up potting the stuff. I did not finish the lavender that you. And then after I get done with the plant shack, I have to go in the house, and we are still planting seeds for us and the farmers market um, in those peat pots. So I still have melons, pumpkins squash to do and I might be ambitious and plant some tomatoes except for it's getting a little late in that so that is what I'm doing um, we did not officially get rained out to do the hoop house although it is too wet we were not able to work on it um, our mom and dad weren't able to work on it we did get a surprise thunderstorm in the middle of the night that then went and made it all wet again so it's going to be another handful of days before we can get out there and do the hoop house. And today in the plant shack, really, I was gone all day. So everything was just getting acclimated outside. I have not had a chance to plant anything. Um, so there will be a follow-up video with the hoop house being built, hopefully coming up in, within the next week. Um, the carrots that we planted yesterday did look a little dry this soil even after the rain with the board on them So I did give those a sprinkling with a shower um, What is it the shower? Like setting on our hose nozzle and then covered them back up So I'll definitely have to keep my eye on those and make sure that they're not drying out So we do get good germination on the carrots 
Um, but that is so far what is going on in our garden this week. Sorry, my dog is over there. Thank you. Oh. But so that is what is going on in our garden this week. Now I'm, I am going to hopefully today and tomorrow get those last seeds started that I need to get started. Hopefully you can hear me. It is windy out. Um, our Azure order came and I ordered two cases of juicing apples, one case of Fuji apples, and one case of lemons. So I also have to preserve those coming up before they go bad. We had some... The juicing apples are like a second pick, so they might have blemishes or little soft spots on them, so I have to get those done quickly also. So it's going to be a very busy next couple of days, um, but we are full swing garden time and trying to get that done along with everything else we have to get done in the houses as well. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. And we will see you next time. Bye.